While fillers can create structure, suture suspension gives you pure lift. So it's ideal for someone who wants a lift and reshaping. Hi, I'm Rachel and I'm here getting a suture suspension lift today. I'm a mom of two kids and I work full time. I spend most of my days on Zoom calls staring at my face. And I think over the past year, I've learned that I'm more resilient than I thought I was. I'm more positive. I have a better sense of humor. But when I was looking at myself on those Zoom calls, I didn't see that person anymore. I'm really excited to look like myself again and to feel like myself again. Hi, I'm Dr. Lara Devkin, and I'm a board certified plastic surgeon in New York City, and I specialize in facial optimization. Facial optimization is the combination of surgical and non-surgical procedures that I use to optimize facial beauty while preserving facial identity. Tell me a little bit about what you're hoping to get out of this. What I'm noticing in my face is that my laugh lines have become very deep. This is the malar fat powder, the apple of the cheek, and when you're 25, it's right here. And over time, it comes down a little bit. So you're getting a little bit of mid-face flattening. We'll do a couple of little tweaks here and there. I think it's gonna be awesome. Suture suspension is a modern technique that allows us to lift the deep planes of the face using a tiny little needle access site and dissolvable surgical stitches. I have had Botox in the past and I have had a little bit of filler in my cheeks and both times I love the effect. My only fear with having this procedure is that I'm gonna love it so much I'm gonna wanna do it more. we'll use injected numbing medicine to make sure that the patient feels comfortable. And that's really the only part of the procedure that hurts a little bit. It feels like a little bee sting for about 10 seconds. Once the injected numbing is in place, I'll then turn my attention toward the procedure itself. The first step is to make a tiny access hole and a pilot hole using a little needle prick that's hidden right in the sideburn area. Next, I'll use sterile cannulae, which are basically stainless steel, surgical, tiny little tubes, like thinner than a coffee straw. And those will be inserted into the tissue in the deep plane. So the deep plane of the face is the deep muscular layer that I actually will lift in a surgical facelift. The amazing thing about the modern generation of suture suspensions is that I'm able to access the deep plane of the face through a tiny little needle hole. So once I insert the cannulae, those will deliver barbed suture suspensions. And the sutures that are being placed are made out of a dissolvable material that's a complex sugar molecule. It stays in the tissues for about a year until it fully dissolves. And in that time, it also causes the body to stimulate collagen production. Once the sutures are placed, I double check the vectors so they can be placed in many different orientations depending on the patient and their goals and anatomy. I'll suspend the sutures, I'll tighten them. I'll trim them and then I'll redrape the patient's soft tissues with respect to the deep plane of their face. You might hear a little bit of clicking because some of the suture suspension gets transmitted through bony hearing conduction into the ear canal. And then finally, the patient will sit up, I'll take a look at everything in the mirror, and we'll do little adjustments to build structure with injectables in addition to the lift that we created with the procedure. So, looking really beautiful. You wanna take a look? Yes. Okay. <gasps> oh my god, oh my god. I was 
absolutely blown away. When I first saw myself, it was like looking in a mirror from 10 years ago. I look like myself again. I love how uplifted my face looks. My eyes are brighter. I just, I feel so great. I'm so glad you're happy. I'm, I'm you obsessed. look so beautiful and refreshed. <laughs> so what we did was give you a lift of the mid face and definition of the jawline to pick up the jowl. And we have a highlight on the cheekbone, a low light in the cheek sulcus shadow. And then right here is an almost textbook gonial angle or angle of the mandible. That's looking very beautiful. I expected the treatment to be painful. You know, the surgery does involve barbs going into your face, which sounds really painful. And the biggest surprise for me was that it really wasn't. It looks amazing. I don't think anyone would know that I had had something done. They would just say I look great. Yeah, and that's the idea. After a suture suspension, I suggest no exercise for two to three days and avoiding alcohol, aspirin, Advil, and blood thinners. Most of my patients will come in for a follow-up visit around two to three weeks to make sure that everything's looking perfect. Dr. Debgan is incredible. I love the way she would make a small change to my face, step back, and assess the overall symmetry and effect of what she was doing. It made me feel like she was really paying attention to the overall effect, and I think it really shows. I think what I do is all about empowerment. I think beauty can be very misunderstood, but real beauty is about feeling good about yourself and feeling like you want to present yourself to the world and you want to participate in the world. So what I do is really not about how lifted your cheekbone is or how sculpted your lip is. It's about how you feel and how confident you are in making your decisions. I would absolutely do this again. In fact, one of the questions I asked Dr. Devgan was how many times can I do this procedure? And it turns out there really is no limit, but the results surpass my expectations. I feel younger and brighter, and I can actually feel the difference in my face. I no longer feel that sagging, and I feel more like myself. Thank you for watching Refinery29. For more videos, click here. To subscribe, click here.